Well, just got off work and we're well on our way to Duncan's Poultry to pick up our chicks. We'll be there shortly and get about 600 pounds of food. So we'll see you shortly. Oh man, I really gotta eat at this place one of these days. I hear they've got the best ribs and prime rib anywhere. The good news is, now I know where it's at. I knew it was up here somewhere, and I knew it was tucked behind these country roads up here somewhere, but I never I never went there. Everybody uh, raves about it, but we're gonna go give that a try. As soon as all this, uh, you know what, dies down, we're gonna go eat some good food up there, because like I said, everybody raves about it. I got that brooder we moved last night. We got that taken care of, but I got a few things I gotta do to it. I gotta put a screen door in it. I gotta put, um, I gotta place some wood in there, and then I gotta run some power, maybe. Yeah, definitely run some power. But we're gonna be raising these chicks in the barn in the small brooder that I have. Uh, you guys have seen that. If you haven't, I'll link one of my videos above that shows this brooder, because I absolutely love it. You can break it down, it's easy to move, it's easy to access, it tucks away easily. I'll link a video up top here, and uh, you check that brooder out. You guys hear that? Oh man, these things are loud. You guys are being so loud back there. Keep it down, silly kids. Well, you wouldn't believe it, but I'm stuck in traffic in the middle of nowhere in the country. Yes, I don't know what's going on. Probably highway repair work or something like that. So we just got back from, I'm turning this blinker off. This, there's no, no reason for the blinker. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. But uh, so yes, we got back from Duncan Poultry. If you can hear me over the 50 chickens that I have for chicks in the back of my truck here. But we came back from Duncan Poultry, had a lovely conversation with them up there. And they were telling me about how they were just featured on the news and proceeded to tell me about how everybody is going nuts this year because of the thing that is uh gotten everybody buying chickens up and me myself i've experienced this in all the stores and i proceeded to tell them that yeah i can't wait till uh i don't know june august where i can get on craigslist and get all these free chickens from all these people that probably shouldn't be raising chickens and are freaking out and then have these freaking Tyrannosaurus Rex meat birds running around going crazy and they don't know what to do with them or they don't know how to butcher them or where to take them but long story short I had to book my processing date today pick during pickup that never happens ever ever happens usually you have the option of booking your date pretty much willy-nilly whenever you want Give you six weeks, eight weeks. You can keep these things for a year if you wanted to. But uh, they said that they are so booked up that they have that we have to book right, right now. Otherwise, we're not going to get a date in. So I booked for June 23rd. So that is a day shy of six weeks. So we got six weeks to raise these birds. You think we can do it? Let's see how good his feed and chickens really are. That's going to be the real test. We're gonna give them plenty of land to run on, that's for sure. So we're gonna do our part. Let's see if they can live up to their part, because I think they can, because I've never gotten anything bad from them before. So, all right, next time you see us, we're gonna be pulling out of the house and we're gonna be getting the brooder ready in the barn. I can say is nothing beats a small town feel everything's pretty much authentic you have small businesses that make really good products like Duncan and it's great food did you guys catch that sign you know you country if you got signs on the side of the road that read do not hunt waterfowl from the side of the road believe it or not 
there's some rednecks out there that do that stuff may or may not have seen chip do that once or twice but that's uh that's besides the point all right case point that's pretty redneck All right, we made it home. So all we got to do now, we got to get this brooder set up and get these chicks under some hot lights. Only the best for my chickens. Pure filtered bottled water. Look at all that food we get on load. That's 600 pounds of food, people. That, start to finish. 50 meat birds, six weeks, start to finish. Let's see if we can get this thing done in under six weeks because my process date is June 23rd and we can't miss it. So they're going to the processor no matter what. I think they're gonna be around four to five pounds at that, that time frame, yeah. So 600 pounds of food, 50 meat birds, six weeks. Let's go get these chicks. Yay. Yay! That's when the baby. Where'd they go? What's up, little guy? You excited? Yeah. <laughs> excited? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have 50 little children. <laughs> Sneak peek. <gasps> What's up, dudes? All right. Let's get him in that warm brooder. Okay. Yep, go ahead and put him in there. So tiny. Oh, all right. They're safe and sound. They're home. They're in their brooder, and they're pretty warm and comfy. We got them some water. Got them some food. They're really enjoying that water. Man, those guys must have been really thirsty. But in the next few days, we're gonna be moving them up to this brooder. It doesn't look much like a brooder right now. Just give me a weekend. We're gonna work on it. I got the turkeys in here if you're wondering. They had a little tussle. We'll go on that into another video. One of them's my head's messed up. He seems to be doing okay, but brooder's coming up next. It's coming soon. Now it's starting to come down a little bit. It's missed in. Storms are heading our way. So we're going to call it early. But one thing I wanted to mention, if you guys are interested in that brooder that I have, I don't know if they make it anymore. If I find it, I'll put it down in the comments or I'll put a link down below so you can find it. I got it on Amazon. Let's just say that. I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys tune in next time. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because like I say, it don't cost you nothing 
and it does me a lot of good. All right, guys, see you next time.